Welcome, welcome to another episode of the Cooking Swiss. Today we are going to make maxed out credit card soup. It is very simple, easy, no prepping, chopping or anything involved. So let's go. We are starting out with two tablespoons of olive oil. You could also use canola oil or vegetable oil, any oil you would like. I prefer olive oil. Next, we are going to use uh, three quarter cups of flour. We can turn the stove on already. And we are pouring the flour in. And now we are basically roasting the flour until it's brown. And you, this is the most involved part because you have to keep an eye on it. Once at the beginning, it takes a long time, but once it starts to brown, um, it goes very quickly. Now, the other thing that we need to have ready is we are going to need five cups of bouillon. I am just going to use five cups of water. And then I will add in the Knorr uh, chicken flavor bouillon. It's a, it's a powder. And uh, how much do we need? Um, one teaspoon per cup. So we need five teaspoons because we are having five, using five cups of water. So we see already it's starting to brown. It goes fairly quickly. And it's also starting to smell like roasted bread, freshly baked bread, honestly. Instead of uh, two tablespoons of olive oil, you could also use two tablespoons of water. This is a soup that typically uh, you would be eating, let's say if you're skiing and you're taking a break for lunch. You're in a ski hut or top of a mountain again. Most restaurants will, this, will have this available kind of like comparable to the McDonald's dollar dollar menu. So this would be the Swiss Swiss wor version of the dollar menu. Yeah, it's definitely browning. It's getting there. And you don't want to, you know, it's kind of a fine line. Yeah, now it's getting dark. Let me lower the temperature. Should have done this all along. So you just want it kind of like nicely browned. Sorry about the shaking camera i'm trying out something new and device like a holder but i might go back to the steady camera holder this is turning out to be too shaky I think we are getting there for sure. All right. 
So let's add in the water. And another one. Switch to the whisk. We separate out the clunks. There are still some clunks left. All right, and now we need five teaspoons of the bullion. Two, five. Now turn up the heat again. and we let it come to a boil and then once it boils we will reduce the heat and then let it simmer for 30 minutes This is how the soup looks now. Um, it's finally boiling. I'm reducing the heat till very low and let it simmer for about half an hour. After half an hour, we are going to add one bay leaf, a little bit of salt, but remember not much because we already have the bouillon in there, two cloves, two cloves, and if you don't have the whole cloves you can also uh, sprinkle some of the ground some ground cloves in it really gives a very nice aromatic flavor and i'm also going to grind in some pepper the last spice that i'll add in is a little bit of ground nutmeg we are going to cover this again and let it simmer for another half an hour on low heat. The hour is up, turning up and let's see, still nicely cooking, nice and thick, shutting everything off. And now um, I have prepped a little bowl. All right. We're grabbing about just to have a little taste. All right. Maybe a little bit more. It's not a lot. Alrighty. And I've also have a little bit of, now you can eat it like that. It's perfectly fine. Or you can 
add a little bit of cheese on top and that's going to make all the difference. Alrighty, let's dig in. Let's try some of this soup. This is, I guess, my comfort soup. Nice and stringy. I don't know how to eat this with the camera. Mmm, this is awesome. Seriously, you've got to try this. <laughs> and it's ultra cheap, inexpensive. Excuse me. Please try it. Leave a comment if you like it, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.